Welcome back to the Gypsy Caravan. I'm Shan. How are you doing? Today I'm going to be recreating Billie Eilish's British Vogue photo shoot makeup, keyed by Robert Rumsey. So let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to prime our lids first. I am using Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm just buffing that in with a 2 to 4 blending brush from MAC. And all we're going to do is just set the area. So taking this product up from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone that we have some good coverage and a nice base to work off of. So because we need perfected skin for today's makeup, I'm going in with two primers. The first one is the Backlight Priming Filter from Becca and Tatcha the Silk Canvas. I'm going in with the Becca one first to use all over my skin to get that nice, radiant, healthy glow. And then just to fill in and smooth out the skin, I'm going with in with the Silk Canvas. This is a pore filling or texture smoothing primer. So I'm just using this over my nose where I have enlarged pores and just to kind of smooth over the texture I have on my skin. Billie Eilish has perfect skin in this photo shoot, so we need to mimic that. The foundations I'm going in with today is the Vibrancy one from Josie Maron and the Hyper Real foundation from MAC. I'm mixing these two together. The Hyper Real one from MAC is going to give my Vibrancy foundation that really nice peachy glow that's very imminent in Billie's skin. So I'm going to first apply that with my duo fiber brush. I'm just going to buff this in. I'm not going to use a lot because the Vibrancy foundation is medium to full coverage. So it's going to give me the coverage I need. But mixing it in with that Hyper Real foundation, it's going to give that really nice skin-like texture and glow that is shown in her photo shoot so I'm using that I'm using this brush just to buff that in the shade of the vibrancy foundation is RG 10 supernatural this is technically my winter shade so mixing it in with the hyper real one is pretty useful because it helps just to deepen it slightly the hyper real foundation is in the shade rose gold FX which is perfect because like I said it, it needs that peachy undertone to go well with the rest of the makeup that we'll be doing today. I'm then taking my damp Real Techniques sponge and I'm literally just pressing in whatever foundation is left on my hand um, and kind of using this to blur out the skin and by that I mean just really pushing the foundation in so that we get that really juicy glowy skin like texture. It really doesn't look like she's wearing much makeup in the photo shoot although I'm pretty sure she's wearing half a makeup kit's worth. But we really just wanted to give that appearance of ethereal, virgin looking skin, <laughs> if I can say that. So next I'm going in with a little bit of a concealer slash highlighter. This one is from Isabella Garcia. It is literally the exact same tone as my skin. You can of course go in with whatever product you see fit for yourself. I really like this one because it's a liquid and it's sheer to medium coverage. So it's not going to look super heavy on the skin. Literally all I'm doing is just toning down some of the depth that is underneath my eyes and then kind of correcting any blemishes that I have on my skin. I'm going to press this in with the Beauty Blender again to sheer out the product and to keep the overall appearance still looking very natural. I'm not going to take this directly underneath my eye because she does have a little bit of a bag so I do want to keep that and mimic that. Then just to set the concealer I'm going in with Proven Prime Translucent Powder from MAC and the same 224 brush that I used before and I'm only going to set the concealer underneath the eyes and just tone down places and hotspot places like my smile lines between my brows and just a little bit over the nose just so that we have a good mixture of texture but also because I don't want the super oily areas of my face to show through so I do still want a very glowy skin like texture but I don't want it to come off as oily skin so I'm concentrating this quite a bit around my nose area just because that is where I tend to get super oily. So because Billy has incredibly beautiful thick brows, um, like myself, yes, I am just going to set it with a brow gel set so I'm just using a spoolie to brush through my brows and to kind of reshape them and get them into some sort of a decent shape. The brow gel set I'm using is the Big Boost Fiber Brow Gel. 
eyebrow gel from MAC. Oh my gosh, what a mouthful. I'm in the shade Fling and I'm literally just combing this through from the root of my brows all the way up to the tips and thickening them up. The really great thing about this brow gel set is that it contains fibers within the formula so it helps to really boost and thicken up your brow shape. So you'll see right here how much of a difference that makes from comparing my one brow to the next which is perfect, perfectly mimicking Billy Eilish's uh, brows. So now for the eyes I'm going in with only one eyeshadow. This is Striker Pose Powder Kiss Eyeshadow from MAC. It is a sort of a peachy eyeshadow. It's matte-ish. It's not like entirely matte. It does have a bit of a sheen to it. But it is fairly matte. And we are going to use this color over the entire eye area. I'm only going in with one shade because she has a very peachy tone across her lids. So I am taking a 224 brush and I'm just creating a crease with that eyeshadow as you can see here. So that we have a nice... Um, carved out crease and then I'm going to apply a wash of this eyeshadow across the lid area as well. Um, to me it doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of eyeshadow, it's just really to bring that peaches and cream vibe to her face so I'm assuming this is the only shade they use so this is the only shade I'm going to use. You can use a packing brush if you want, I kept with a blending brush just because it looked like a very sheer wash of colour. The um, makeup artist in my mind was just trying to bring out her natural skin's undertones and to make all the products look as though it was coming from within her skin. So just accentuating her natural skin's tones and vibe for the photo shoot. So I wanted to do something very similar to that. I'm then going to take a smaller tapered blending brush and I'm going to run this product underneath the eyes and then of course to really smoke it out and make it look very blown out and very diffused. I'm going back in with the big fluffy blending brush which is the 224 and I'm just diffusing and running that brush over the edges so that it looks like it's melting into my face rather than just sitting underneath the eye. BT Dubs, the small tapered blending brush that I am using here is from the Jaclyn Hill Masters Master Eye Brush Collection and it's the JH40 just in case. I didn't mention that, which I don't think I did. So basically the point is just to keep the entire eye area very diffused and if there is just an inkling of colour on the eyes. So because Billie Eilish has super thick, gorgeous lashes, we are going to try and mimic the exact same thing too. I am teasing up and volumizing my lashes using the Horton Nori Hort and Naughty 2 mascara from MAC. This is in the shade Black. And I'm really just pumping up those lashes as you can see and then for a tiny bit of bronzy contour vibes I'm going in with my physicians formula butter bronzer I'm using a 168 angled brush from MAC and I'm literally just going to ever so lightly carve out the features on my face so I'm going kind of underneath my cheekbones rounding it up into my temples I'm also going to take this across my forehead down the nose as well to kind of give myself a bit of a nose contour and then around my jawline um, because I don't really have a prominent jawline so I kind of want that to stand out. Um, it's not necessary to do a super harsh contour or to do super visible um, bronzing. It's just to give the idea that you are just highlighting certain features on your face just to bring them up a little without actually like projecting them in the photo or in your makeup. It's just a very soft idea of your feature on your face. Next I'm going in with a cream blush. This is the Glow Play blush in the shade Cheer Up. Um, this is from MAC. It's very similar in color and tone to the Striker Pose eyeshadow that I used. And I'm just using this to create a very light skin-like flush within my skin. I'm applying this mainly around the apples of my face, or the apples of my cheeks rather. Taking it up into the highlighting area and then dabbing a small amount across my nose just to give a slight flush to the skin. But still keep it very in with the color scheme and tone of the overall makeup. For highlighter, I'm using a cream highlighter um, again. 
cream products are just best for this sort of makeup look. It's best to avoid powders which will kind of bring down the skin and make it look very dry. So cream products all the way. The highlight I'm using is a cream color base from MAC. It's in the shade Hush. Again, very peachy coppery undertone which is just perfect for this look. And I'm just applying it everywhere where you would apply a highlighter. I'm going along the cheekbones, along the apples of the cheeks, um, just to bring about that very youthful Gen Z vibe that's going on right now. I'm also taking this across the nose, bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, just literally highlight all the good parts of your face that you want to bring out. Also this is just going to emphasize that dewiness that we have in our skin, which is just beautiful for photos. And then because she has a little bit of a gloss um, feature across the lids, I'm just going to pat a little bit of this hush into the eyelids as well. Um, just that so the eyelids don't look super heavy or glossy, but that there is that nice sheen that you can kind of make out in the photo. I don't really know what her makeup artist used, but I'm just going to go with what I know and use the cream color base atop that eyeshadow. So for the lips, they kind of matte in the photo, but not really. So I want to use this uh, lipstick as an undertone or a background color for the actual shade that I want the lip to be. This is Burn Spice Retro Matte Liquid Lip from MAC. And I am just using the tiniest amount and I'm pressing it in with my finger. This is just going to give the illusion that the lips are lived in. The color's coming through as if it is her skin color or his skin tone. And it looks very pushed in and very soft and powdery. I'm then going to go with the 224 brush again and pick up some more of that Striker Pose eyeshadow. And I'm going to buff this in over top the lips so that we still have that really nice peachy color scheme coming through. But that the lips look very, very natural as if it's the natural skin tone of the overall look. That you're not wearing product but there is some sort of shade as if it's a natural lip color. Let's say it like that. Also, by buffing it over the edges, it makes the lipstick look very lived in. So this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like this video. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day further. Bye.